Which of Porsche's GT sports cars is the quickest in a drag race? Well, I'm going to find out by racing the new GT3 RS against a GT3 and a GT4 RS against a GT4 over the standing quarter mile. Exciting! Anyhow, I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, Car Wow. Now let me tell you about this Porsche 911 GT3 RS. It has a four litre flat six engine, it's naturally aspirated and it puts out 525 horsepower and 465 newton meters of torque. It drives the rear wheels only via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. It weighs in a 1,450 kilos and it costs from 190,000 pounds. That's for the basic car. This one with the Visac package and a few other bits and pieces, £235,000 if you can get your hands on one. Oh, and actually, um, I've got one on order. It's coming. And if you want to see me deciding what spec to go for on my GT3 RS, click on the pop-out banner up there or follow the link in the description to go watch my video. Love this car, there's so much to it. There's the special buttons on the steering wheel where I can set up different suspension settings at the front and at the back. And I can also alter the aggressiveness of the rear differential. And I can alter the traction control and stability control through various different parameters. Plus, this car has a lot of aero, which is great for around a circuit, not good for drag racing because it creates drag. Anyhow, it does have special active aero and DRS like a Formula One car. So when you're going fast, that rear wing should open up to enable you to have a better top speed. But how's it going to compare to the GT3? Let's find out about that car from its driver. So tell me everything I need to know about the GT3. So the GT3 has the same basic engine as your car, four litre naturally aspirated flat six. It has 15 horsepower less at 510 horsepower, but it also has five newton meters more torque at 470 newton meters, which is a bit strange. Seven speed PDK automatic gearbox is the same. Rear wheel drive is the same, but this car is a smidge lighter actually, probably because yours is covered in wings and things. This weighs 1,435 kilograms. It's also cheaper, so this costs 146,400 pounds, which is still a lot, but a lot less than your car costs, I bet. Well, I think on the used market, yours is probably worth about 200,000, and this is probably worth over 400,000, maybe even getting on for half a million because they're just so hard to get right now. So I'm sure if, uh, if you know, somebody hypothetically had one on the way, they'd be feeling pretty chuffed, wouldn't they? Yes, they are feeling chuffed. Just wait for it to arrive. Anyway, let's go to the GT4 RS and a man who has started to learn stats about cars. So, so Yanni, give me the facts and figures, Macy boy. First of all, Matt, I feel like the poor relation because you lot are in 911s. And secondly, I'm in the third spot like I'm a guest driver. Like I feel really disappointed, I just want to put it out there. Right, I'm in a Porsche GT4 RS Cayman, four litre naturally aspirated flat six, 500 horsepower, 450 newton meters, rear wheel drive, seven speed dual clutch, it weighs around 1,415, I want to say, and it's around 123,000 pounds. Once again, that's a new price if you can get allocation. The actual use value of those is about £200,000 actually, similar to the GT3. Finally then, we come to the GT4. Give us the details, Rory. So here in the GT4, same four litre naturally aspirated flat six engine. It's got 420 horsepower, 430 newton meters of torque, same seven speed dual clutch PDK gearbox to the rear wheels, weighs 1450 kilograms. And apparently you can't actually order one of these anymore with Porsche at the moment, but when you could, it was 75,000 thousand pounds and the used values of those are a lot softer than the other three cars i don't know what they are we're just going to flash it up on the screen actually rory are you sure it's the same engine as in these cars I i'm not sure that it is i think it is the four liter natural aspirated flat six isn't it let's just check otherwise the porsche anoraks will be going absolutely f ballistic in the comments a few moments later so it's different internals four litre natural aspirated flat six engine but different internals to the other cars basically rory that's how you get an allocation for a gt product you have to know the minutia and unfortunately you don't my friend you don't i'm also not like a successful youtuber so that's another way to get one i don't know I think you're coming along quite nicely, actually, Rory. Anyhow, if you want to compare these cars stats side by side, pause the video now. Now, before we race, 
I should tell you that if you're thinking about selling your car, maybe to buy a Porsche GT product, you can sell your car the easy way through CarWax. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, and then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. Just pick the highest offer, and they'll come to your house, take the car away, and put the money into your account. It's easy and completely faff free. Now, if you wanna do that, Right away, just click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can do it after watching this video by simply Googling, help me car wow, and we will help you sell your car. Now, before we race, we're gonna do the customary car wow sound check, and we're gonna start off with the GT4. <laughs> Okay, Rory, what happened there? I could hardly hear Hugh. It's revving to about 5,000 RPM. Okay then, Yanni, let's rev up the GT4 RS. That sounds better. I only revs up to four, but wow. And the vents behind my ears makes this very noisy in here. Nick, can you rev up your car? That sounds good too. Oh! Nick's found the hack. Nicholas, well done, congratulations. Go straight to the top of Porsche class. You know the GT car hack. Rory and Yanni, what you want to do is put your car into drive. Obviously keep your left foot on the brake. Pull in both paddles. And then rev your engine, and then you'll be able to rev to about six. Lovely. Oh, this hooked beautifully. Oh, yeah, come on, GT3 RS. Whoa, this is quite close. Don't let your drag drag you down. Come on, GT3. Come on. Don't know why I said that. This car just makes me behave a little bit weirdly. Beautiful. Now, that was a beautiful race between the GT3 RS and the GT3, proving that the 911 is definitely better than any form of Cayman. Isn't that right, Nicholas? Yeah, couldn't agree more. That was uh, that was brilliant, wasn't it? Comprehensive victory for the 911. So, Yanni, how was it for you? Disappointing, but he demoted me. You lot are in 911s and you demoted me into a GT4 RS. Really? Not a demotion. Some people think it's actually the best car here. Rory. I had a great viewing platform for an amazing race, yeah, between two 911s. Uh, Watch the GT4S walk away. Yeah, this thing looks so good, it sounds so good. Um, so you can't be too disappointed, really. Quickly, which car out of these four would you have, Rory? I know it's not popular opinion, but I've always just wanted this car, just this GT4. I think it's got the right power and the right dimensions for like the British roads. Is the wrong answer. Yanni, what's your choice? We'll throw you out of that car in a hot minute, mate. GT3 RS all day. <laughs> Correct. Nicholas? Yeah, you can't deny that that is the one to have, isn't it? I mean, just look at it. <laughs> that is the hilarious thing I've ever seen. And it's quick. And it is quick. Sometimes you need to be sure about these things. So let's do best two out of three. Can't say I'm not fair. Three, two, one. Oh, better launch from the GT4 RS that time. Oh, it's close between those two. Oh, it's so much closer now. <laughs> I have dropped the ball. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Let's first of all go to Yanni. Is that better? It was better. 
but I think you need to check whether I jumped or not. Because if I didn't jump, then yeah, it was much better. Yeah, I had Nick on the ropes for a few seconds. Okay, then let's just quickly check with the stewards. Stewards, did anyone jump the start? There were no jump starts, they were all perfect. Well, there you go then, Yanni. It was perfect, which is good for me as well, <laughs> and everyone else in this race. But did you manage to beat the 911 GT3? No, and he was looking at me with his smug face and his flat cap and just smiling at me like, like I usually do to other people. So yeah, I'm, I'm just not happy today. And GT4, was that better for you or was it just exactly the same story? Yeah, another really good launch. First couple of seconds probably, I was up with everyone else and then just watched you drive away. But yeah, not a bad day out as it goes. Exactly, what a beautiful set of cars. But obviously, this one's the daddy. So then what exactly happened? Well, the GT3 RS won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 11.1 seconds. The GT3 took 11.3 seconds. The GT4 RS, 11.4 seconds, while the GT4 was last. It took 11.9 seconds to do the standing quarter mile. Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour over the half mile. We've got the cars in their least GT setting, so normal and auto for the gearbox. So, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh that was all right. Hang on, I think I'm ahead. I think I'm going to be hampered by my drag. DRS work, DRS work. <laughs> oh, Yanni, I'm going to be even more smug this time. Am I starting to reel the GT3 in? Oh, so close. Went for the GT3. Got an early lead and just maintained it. I thought at some point at high speed, I was starting to reel you in, but then I think my aero played against me and it just like, yeah, a lot more drag. I'm really surprised by that. I thought you were gonna absolutely smash me, but no, this just took off like nobody's business. Yanni, we were just neck and neck. I have no idea who crossed the half mile first. I had the best kick down. I was better than Nick as well. And then obviously Nick come past me and then I think you caught me, but I think I had the best kick down out of all four. And what was the noise like inside that car? It's just epic for that last like 8,000 to 9,000 RPM where it just sounds mental. It is so loud in here, it's insane, like unbelievable. And finally Rory in the GT4. Yeah, really quick kick down, but again, just watched you guys walk away. Let's go into full on maximum attack GT mode. Okay everyone, let's go again. This time, second gear from around 40. Three, two, one, go. DRS. Oh, this is so close again. Come on, DRS. Do you bloody think? <laughs> Come on, GT3! Don't let that GT3 past! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, 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 yes! That was so close, mate. That was so close. I was nailing every gear shift because you've got to get it just right. You need to ring it out and change up just at the right point, otherwise you'll hit the limiter. And I was bashing away at the DRS button. Probably didn't need to, probably only needed to press it once, but it did the job. This one. I don't even care that I came second. That was wicked. Yanni? I need to check something because it's so noisy in here. Did you say third gear or second gear? This time, second gear from around 40. Second gear. You were in third, weren't you? Yep, that is why obviously I got dropped by the GT4. I couldn't hear you. And obviously, because you keep your finger on the mic when you're about to race, I can't come back at you because I didn't know what gear to be in, so I stayed in third. Now we're going to do a rolling race. Once again, over the half mile, but this time from 60 miles an hour in third gear. Everybody get ready. Three, two, one, go. 
DRS. Didn't she do well, the old girl? Well done, darling, well done. But it's still third, right? Like in the drag race. Oh yeah, okay. Um... But I had more fun that time. Trying to enjoy this at all, I'll be honest. <laughs> Nick, once again, very high speed. You're starting to reel me in, so I think. You might have come past at some point, but not over the half mile. We would need a very, very long runway. And let's be honest, that's not what these cars are for, is it? No one buys a GT3 or a GT3 RS to do drag racing. Here's one person that buys a GT3 RS to drag race, but that's because I'm just a bit weird. Bear with me guys, I'm just setting my car up. So I'm gonna put front suspension softest setting, rear normal, stability control on. I'm gonna put my, my diff on more locking on coasting. And I don't really need to change anything on power, but I've just done it for the sake of it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, I think I've got my settings just, just as I want them. Let's do the brake test. So this is from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. If you'd rather watch another drag race with some Porsches, some turbos, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. If not, stay here for the brake test. Put that in there. That's crazy. Really? Me in a brake test and I'm lost? Really? I, I, I don't really understand that. That's such a big difference. I normally get destroyed in the brake test. That's, that's just crazy. It's been a bad day for me, I can't lie. It's been a very, very bad day for me. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it was so much fun. Once again, if you're thinking about buying a car, you probably have to sell your current car. You can do that very easily through CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos of your car, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on it. Choose the highest offer, they'll come to house, take the car away and put the money into your account. It is so easy and completely free. Now, if you want to do that, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, just Google help me CarWow and we will help you sell your car. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know which of these four cars is your favourite by voting in the pinned comment. Click on those windows there for some more videos and on that box there to go to Car Wow to compare these cars quarter mile times to every car we've ever drag raced. Thanks for watching.